Hello lads, today I want to talk about a few things, but first and foremost we will to me, take this warriors. battle and uh, see what um, what the crack is in good old Nagaroth. So we have Alith Anar versus Shakara. And uh, I don't know if you saw this, but Shakira actually sold a black sun necklace. I thought it was quite quite epic indeed. The, uh, the black sun obviously, which has um, gotten me a few Instagram posts at least uh, taken down uh, from there for containing that um, beautiful symbol. But um, the powers to be I do not agree that it's a beautiful symbol, unfortunately. But it is what it is. Alright, we are in the battle and uh, we have the eagle of uh, superior morals uh, who will wreck some degenerates and we don't really have any cool place to deploy these uh, mad cunts but I suppose I will place you there and these lads here as well and uh, just gonna start the battle and see what's up. Asser forward. For duty. Alithanar. Alright. Let's um, get you there immediately. And our eagle. I don't want anyone to shoot at him because uh, he is. Um, our uh, most precious um, friend, a true friend against uh, degeneracy. So we will try to avoid getting him shot. And now we have two Alith Anars. And uh, let me yet again state exactly how epic this mad cunt is. Look at him. Fwa. Murmleon. Highly aesthetic, if anything. But uh, let's uh, not um, do the same mistake as I did last time and... Uh, and completely neglect the battle. And let's do... Exactly like this. These lads, right here, they will deploy there and shoot them in the rear. Oh, we have uh, encountered a battle. The uh, the Druki eye, the Druki are quite aesthetic as well. Uh, all elves are um, are epic and magnificent. Come on, in Alith. Fua, Myrin. Myrmleon. Myrmidon. Um. Right. Okay, so I will actually tell you all a little thing. Uh, cardio running in the forest is uh, it's good training. Uh, I usually run in the forest because I don't like running on asphalt because that's not particularly pleasant to watch knees etc and especially if you're a um, bloat max pale orc such as myself and you weigh 100 kg it's um, might be better ideas than to run at asphalt anyway running as cardio it can be quite um, well, quite tedious, to be to be honest. So then you need some good mental techniques to make it more fun. So what I have been thinking during my last cardio runs is actually that I am a um, shadow warrior or Alith himself, um, performing some guerrilla warfare in uh, in Nagaroth. Um, so I've talked about this before, but it's um, it bears repeating because it's a um, thing that has served me quite well over all these years 
to uh, to have these mental techniques to um, to get some extra motivation when um, when you're training, and especially if you really don't feel like training. So uh, so yeah, running for example, uh, not uh, as exciting perhaps as um, other types of uh, training. That being said, I have just um, obtained a GoPro, so uh, you can look forward to some um, we will obey. some cardio videos, uh, some running in the forest, for example, and some swimming, uh, which I talked about in a Q&A, I think it was. Um, so uh, cool videos incoming. No doubt at all. Okay, how fair is our beautiful eagle? He is uh, illuminating these heretics. He knows exactly that they've been participating in decadent behaviors. They've been getting drunk. And that's obviously not particularly good at all. But I suppose they're Dark elves, so they, um, it's part of their, um, depravity. Oh, you perhaps want to rejoin the battle. The uh, beloved king, aka me in this case, because I'm obviously represented by Alith in this campaign, I'm out on thin ice. But look at that, they're running away from the joint might of the Eagle of Supreme Morals and Alith. Fwa, Mirin. Love it, absolutely love it. So, a topic of discussion in the comments, because... Um, a little secret, I uh, don't actually read the comments on uh, the absolute majority of my videos, but I do read them on the Let's Plays, because that's because they aren't as many comments, so therefore I can um, I can uh, read through them. Uh, so if you ever want to comment and you want me to see it, the gaming videos are um, is your best bet. And uh, the question at hand that I want to ask is: uh, Are you excited for Warhammer? Age of Sigmar, I know that there, there is a new um, edition of it coming out. Now, as I said before, I haven't played Age of Sigmar. Last time I played Warhammer was 8th edition. Illuminate the Shadowlands, I, I like that. Uh, but yeah, I've been... Uh, now obviously I've had quite little time as of late, but uh, would have been nice to one day get back to... Um, to the hobby. Um... We're gonna occupy Blacklight Tower, because we're liberators after all. Um, Talisman gained. Vambraces of defense. These golden bracers are fabled to have been found on the shores of distant Lustria, and are inscribed with unusual glyphs. Right unlocked. Invocation of Isha. The mother goddess, purity is her virtue. The tears she weeps for her children can cleanse the land of any taint. Foi. That sounds uh, highly epic in my humble view. On another note, my, uh, my man, Elessar, and I have a little collab in the making. Uh, so, uh, so yeah, stay tuned for that. I, I won't reveal more um, details about it, but I think it could become a, a quite cool um, collaboration between us. Obviously, if you haven't already subscribed to LSR Music, uh, this would be the perfect opportunity to, uh, to do so. Now, with that said, we must choose a skill for this um, this guy 
looting settlements. I don't really loot settlements because I'm such a good guy, so I can't even do mean things in games. That's the level of high morals I'm at. Bonded service. That's nice, though, to uh, have some cheaper um, service. But it's also fun to, uh, to have these sort of things. And uh, what shall we do? I'm feeling like a noob right now because I don't know exactly which one I will choose. But um, ah, we're going with Valor of the Ages because it sounds the most epic. That's my wisdom for the day. If you're ever in doubt, That's go with uh, what sounds the most epic. That's how I create my... Uh, the names for our designs at the company, at the Hanseatic Clothing Company, Legio Gloria. I go with what sounds the most epic. I think this is a reasonable policy. Um, car on car must fall. The Asser are troubled. The Asser are troubled. They will not be troubled for much longer because I will... I will liberate them. So anyway, yeah, uh, let me know if you um, if you are a um, Warhammer bra. That is um, always nice to hear some updates from um, from that side of um, fantasy. Mission issued. Construct a specified building in the following province. Haven. The Broken Lands. Okay. Cool. And we're gonna destroy Karon Kar. That will be easy. They have... Uh, they will stand no chance against these... Um, valiant troops. Oh, that's actually a haven. Slaver's Point. I think Slaver's Point is a better place to invest our um, gold in because Blacklight Tower might at any moment be subject to a Druki invasion from Harganeth. Fun fact, I've actually, in uh, during the times I have um, thought about creating a a book with a collection of short stories. One of those would be set here in Harganeth. And I've obviously taken that idea from Malus Darkblade. But uh, but yeah, that will be after I've done after I'm finished with my with my main book, which is uh, in the works. It will be a um, true joy to have that uh, done. Anyway, let's um, recruit some more uh, mad cunts. Alright, Karon Kar is moving out and they are Oh, look at that. They are attacking us. How dare they be so blasphemous. But uh, I think we could take this battle quite easily. The only thing they have, which we don't, is Muriel. A uh, feminist wizard of degeneracy. You can see that she's clearly a feminist on her hair. Purple hair. Uh, um clear sign, whereas we obviously uh, right-wing mad cunt right here with the aesthetics on point, firm gaze, proud bearing, this guy is taking the glory spill. That much is uh, for certain. These are uh, one of my favorite units. They could have been a bit more aesthetic, though. The uh, the helmets are uh, 
not the most sickening, to be honest. And we don't want to get shot at. What we want is for these guys to uh, get absolutely wrecked. Your lord is under attack. Okay, they're breaking. How epic. Hello, lads. Our way to die. Not particularly well, I suppose. Where are they even going? This, uh, this Druki eye, this Druhi, Druki. Uh, however, the correct pronunciation is, they are, um, they're a bit silly, in my humble view. Now we're gonna do a similar thing as we did in the last battle. Like we stand behind there, and these mad cunts will do something similar. Now we have gotten far enough into the video for me to say the magic words which you can comment if you have uh, watched this far. Then you can comment Ulthuan belongs to the elves. So, uh, so yeah, comment that. And we're gonna speed up this battle because it's uh, it's clearly won. There we are. Victory for Nagarith. Decisive victory. And some glorious loot. Well, not all the glorious. It was wasn't particularly much. And we're gonna force labor these uh, individuals. Mission aborted. Druhi Slayer. Loex ravens squawk the name of another of Malekith's minions to slay. Their time can be measured in mere moments from now on. Oh, that's, that's nice. Diplomatic relations, plus 20 with high elves. Upkeep, minus 20% for all units. Epic. Defensive drills. Right. I think we're gonna steamroll this. No, wait, it's actually a capital, so we probably won't steamroll uh, them. What I will do is the only reasonable course of action is to uh, select a research, which is obviously gonna be appoint sea masters. Boom. And then we will actually call it a um, call it a day, and end this episode. And then we have another battle on our hands in the next episode. Always nice. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. And if you want, you can follow the Legi Gloria. Instagram and the Jotunheim Nutrition Instagram and obviously if you aren't already following my own personal account. So uh, yeah, thank you for watching. XOXO, boom.